Dolph Lundgren addresses his possible return as He-Man in the Masters of the Universe sequel. First off, you know, have you ever watched Dolph Lundgren's He-Man movie? If so, was it in theaters or at home? If it was in theaters, epic, right? Question that made me curious now. He said he can go back to being He-Man, but which He-Man? Because we saw that there's already a new He-Man movie with the actor already, and this actor needs to work out a lot to get to Dolph Lundgren's level, right? Anyway, could it be a... Well, let's keep going here. We'll talk more about that later. Released in 1987, the film Masters of the Universe featured Lundgren as the live-action version of the superhero He-Man. Although the movie wasn't an immediate success, you know, bad movies become good over time, it has gained many fans over the years. In a new interview on comicbook.com, comma, Lundgren was asked about the possibility of returning to play He-Man if the classic gets a sequel, which has now been confirmed by Amazon MGM. The actor wasn't so sure, but if he accepted, he'd need a costume with more layers than the original movie. Of course, the old days, he was naked with a thong, right? Anyway. Laundry commented on the actor's words, open quotes, an older He-Man, I don't know, provided my costume can be a bit more substantial, it was practically the size of a stamp, oh my god, I guess I'd have to add some layers to the costume, close quote. Well, he mentioned He-Man, right? An older He-Man, do you know what it could be? Suddenly, he brings a He-Man in a dystopian future, right? And then, it goes to hell, the skeleton wins there, or Werdak, right? Anyway, he wins, must be the skeleton, right? He wins, and then He-Man has to go back in time to warn the present He-Man, perhaps to help him work out and get stronger, right? But anyway, that could be it, right? A flashback in time, right? It'd be just like the He-Man days of a forgotten future. So, did you like my idea? Comment below, then. Masters of the Universe was directed by Gary Goddard and written by David O'Dell. In addition to Laundry as He-Man, the film also featured Chelsea Field as Tyler, Frank Langella as the skeleton, Carlton E. Cox as Julia Winston. Carlton E. Cox is from Good Lord from Friends, right? Christina Pickles as the third, John Cipher as the man at arms, I believe was the mentor, and Maggie Foster as Evelyn. The plot depicts He Man and his comrades saving the universe from the evil skeleton. Although they were not in Eternia because they lacked funds, they did it on Earth. Insane, isn't it? Numerous attempts have been made to produce a new live-action He-Man film, although no sequel has been produced, but a reboot is on the way, right? Executed by Amazon MGM, several efforts to reboot the franchise have been tried. Netflix planned to develop it recently before Sony got to it, right? So recently, Netflix was planning to develop a reboot with Kylie Allen as the new He-Man, right? There were also rumors of Noah Santino, but later on, uh, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, stole him to play a role in Black Adam, right? Anyway, in 2023, it was reported that the franchise had been cancelled, right? However, the movie is still going to be made, right? It will be made by Amazon MGM. Thank God. Let's freaking cheer. Man. Amazon is making the Lord of the Rings series, right? The guys are trucking money, right? The boys are trucking money, right? So surely they have the money for a well-made He-Man, right? He-Man is going to be the new, the new Barbie, right? Barbie, damn, what a success Barbie had, right? Anyway, Netflix produced two seasons of the animated series, Masters of the Universe, Revelation and Reacher. The animation serves as a sequel to the original 1980s series, he-Man and the Masters of the Universe, it even had the moral of the story, right? Who doesn't remember the moral of the story, right? Dolph Laundry's Masters of the Universe from 87 is available for free on Pluto TV as I'm filming this video, and the new Masters of the Universe will be released on June 5th, 2026. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments. I would love to discuss the topics of the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, share it, and subscribe. It's appearing up here now. The recommendations for the next videos make perfect sense for you to watch. See you guys in the next video. See you later.